Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, we will design spur gear with proper procedure on paper without using any software. Lead. The gear can be calculated with the ISO 633 standard. This is standard used for calculation of load capacity of spur and flex gear. This is st standard. This standard is very important for drawing a gear. Let us now look on what basic parameters that need to be known for drawing a gear. The basic parameters such as which types of gear you want to use and the next is the gear ratio and the model also the center distance and the helix angle for drawing a spur gear the helix angle must be 0 degree okay then uh, the model The model is an important parameter in gearing. The size of teeth of the gear depend on the model. If the model is smaller, then the size of teeth also small. And if the model is bigger, the size of teeth also bigger. The model is defined as the pitch diameter in mm millimeters divided by the number of teeth. Pitch diameter in millimeter divided by number of teeth also the recommended series of model as uh, such as this is a recommended series of the model also the second choice are this okay then next uh, before we draw a gear there are some steps firstly first step steps draw pitch circle the pitch circle as this pitch circle then uh, the inside circle is tip circle also the redundant circle this is a redundant circle Then the outer circle is root circle, this is addendum circle. Okay, then uh, the second step is this is the first step. First step, then second step is. Pressure angle at the center of the circle uh, take a degree of uh, 20. Uh, the pressure angle uh, for uh, the 20 degree uh, for pre uh, the pressure angle used for heavy loaded gear such as we mark okay. For example, the 20 degree here, okay, then uh, at the point, uh, at that point, the pitch circle, on the pitch circle, the pitch circle at, at this vertical axis, that point, uh, uh, draw vertical line, horizontal line, horizontal line, okay, then at that point, uh, take 20 degrees also we mark I mark 
okay for the example here either 20 degree okay then uh, uh, the two lines intersect each other uh, at that point we get tangent tangent point uh, uh, then take a radius here center to uh, tangent point uh, and then uh, draw a circle okay this is circle this circle is is called as base circle Okay, base circle. Then the next step is uh, uh, the circle is divided uh, in the number of degree as given in uh, formula. Formula value. And then okay. After the dividation, uh, for example. Uh, for example we divide this circle uh, equal number of degree uh, as 15 as 18 okay 18 degree then uh, uh, the next step is then third step is uh, in second step divided the circle, circle as a given uh, in formula okay then third step is okay take uh, third step is divide in uh, make an arc okay as later take a distance from here from here this tangent point to uh, the pitch point pitch of the vertical circle point and then take a distance here to here then okay then mark an arc uh, okay up to uh, the dead end uh, addendum circle from pitch circle to the addendum circle uh, take a distance from uh, this tangent point to the uh, to the this pitch circle point uh, and then mark up to uh, uh, from the base circle base circle to the okay addendum circle first curve is complete the next curve is from uh, we divide these circles as a 18 degree as 18 degree then this this line is 18 degree then uh, put the compass nib on the okay pitch circle okay this is a pitch circle here uh, the pitch circle and the uh, divided line met here intersect met here okay point then take uh, then put the compass nib on this point okay then mark an arc small arc okay on the base circle base circle okay this is a base circle mark here here then same distance 
put the compass nib on the base circle and uh, make an arc and then circle to the base circle okay and as you see the two arc is completed then okay the teeth the single teeth is completed okay okay then let's draw a gear okay then we need some data okay then such as we have the diameter of the gear we take 60 mm and then teeth we get 12 teeth and the model has 5 okay in gear as if the uh, we get model as 5 uh, the addendum is here 5 the model is for addendum the model is equal to 5 for dedendum uh, from pitch circle to the uh, dedendum circle okay and then the model we get 1.25 of the 25 model model okay then uh, the pressure angle we, we take 20 degree here see the dead for the random 1.25 model uh, to depth of 2.25 model working depth 2 model circular pitch as pi model upon cos beta for spur gear the cos beta is 0 okay uh, also uh, the angle uh, the circle is 360 uh, we need 12 teeth uh, okay then into 0 0.5 this is 0 0.5 is necessary okay then we get uh, 15 angle then let's draw circle uh, and then uh, design a gear
as the gear is completed see 12 teeth okay model 5 okay in in my next video i will upload uh, the the two gears by machine to each other the one is a smaller gear and the uh, this is a bigger gear having 30 teeth 30 teeth and the smaller gear gear have um, 12 12 teeth okay then see this is uncompleted i divided this uh, this gear into number of parts okay as a formula as a using formula okay uh, this is a gear uh, made by the uh, prototype model see okay thanks for watching